Capricorn. I'm gonna take this off. Welcome to Illuminated Tarot. How's it going? We're doing a weekly reading for you today for the week of September 25th through October 1st. Holy crap. I have never struggled with a reading as much as I just did with Virgo. I'll tell you what. This eclipse season is bringing out all the secrets. All the secrets. The dogs. My dog, my three dogs are like, secret? They've been napping, so they just pop their heads up. <laughs> all right, Capricorn. I don't know why I just told you that. Maybe uh, you've got a Virgo in your life. I'll tell you, Virgo's going to need you this week if you're friends with a Virgo. All right. And please only take what resonates, okay? If not, check your other placements. Oh, sorry, I didn't flip this up. Waking the lion. I'm telling you, we're entering into a very interesting period of time here. Libra, things are coming back into balance. The justice, scales, fairness. And the eclipse, this eclipse, I'm telling you, I'm feeling it too. I'm a Libra, I feel it. Things are coming back into balance. How the universe works, right? Oh man, I can't see. I can't see these. I love these cards. In fact, I was I only 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 use these for Celtic Cross, but I'm telling you, the energies are so intense with the solar eclipse. I was guided to use them this morning. All right. Yeah, I'm telling you. Some interesting energies. You're feeling victorious. All right, Capricorn, you are moving through swiftly through something. You're like, oh, I'm giddy up. You're giddy up. And what are you giddy up being toward? Maybe towards your own independence and financial security. We have Nine of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Knight of Cups. Ooh, that's some good balance right there. It's like, I'm independent. I create my own wealth. You know, whatever way you're making income, keep doing it. You're doing good with that. You're manifesting a more stable income. And I do believe you have a, you've got, this is someone giddy yupping towards you. Maybe you're moving towards something love wise, but mm, there's something on hold. We've got the three of cups, the double and the wheel of fortune. There's something that you're trying to turn. You're like, you know what? I've had some misfortune. <laughs> I've had some misfortune, Jenna. I want out. I'm ready to celebrate better times. Okay, let's, let's see what is unhealthy. Something was unhealthy. Maybe you're trying to move, eradicate out, and it's still like you're still purging something. I'm hearing nine of wands, uh, feeling a bit overwhelmed. Um, you've got a new chapter coming, and you're gonna feel victorious in this new chapter. All right, let's see. Let's clarify though. We don't know really the depths until we go deeper. What's this chariot? For Capricorn, it's this chariot. Overall energy for the reading. Ooh, I'm telling you, this Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Four of Wands. We got two came out. I think that's been hard for you to kind of come back into a place of balance. You know, I feel like you're on the tail end of really um, nurturing something in your career. It's been hard. You know, you have been trying to bring in more stability, uh, more, it's like you've been trying to care more for your own well-being. And you're kind of at that point where you're like, you know, I've done a lot of work on myself. I've been nurturing myself. You've been creating, you know, things in your life. You've been creating this abundance. I feel like you've been pouring a lot of your energy into your work life. And you've been really working on nurturing all the things in your life, you know, that make you feel good. You know, four of wands like trusting the universe right now i feel like you're in this really beautiful pocket of energy this week where you're just like i'm trusting the universe you know i'm nurturing myself while i'm manifesting right oh i like this for you yeah you're showing me how stable you are capricorn you're in a very stable place right now god there's so much abundance like ooh wee Either you have a connection by your side or you've got a connection on your mind that you know is, is could be very balanced and fruitful. I think in the recent past, you, you, um, you've really been learning a lot about how to create your own independence. And I think that you are coming from a really calm place. Like there's something you wanted to move toward really fast recently. And I think that the universe slowed you down 
and you're like just and the universe just said just nurture yourself right now and everything will work out so you kind of think you kind of like said okay i don't have to like push too hard i don't have to put so much input into this where i kind of lose myself yeah i think you're learning how to balance and that you have everything you need right now right to nurture yourself oh i like this we pass you're trying to work on this manifestation okay you're trying to manifest um, I think you, you've been going through, like I said, you've been kind of like, you're moving forward after recently taking a bit of a time out, you know, I think you were really considering, um, trying to look at the things that have made you feel alone in life. You're like, maybe you've recently called in new connections, new soul bonds, new experiences. You know, I think at times in the past, you felt a bit alone and you're, you're trying to understand, you know, what it is that you need, you know, in order to look at a situation, you know, what perspective you need to come from. It's like you're manifesting, seeing your life in a new way. I love that. It's like, I think you're changing the way you see yourself, Capricorn. Beautiful. I feel like you're going through a huge shift or you recently went through a huge shift and in, in having more confidence in yourself because you're, you were starting to see signs of it. Ooh, two knight of cups. Well, there's no doubt about that. You've got somebody coming towards you. <clears throat> They're trying to make a decision. Two of pentacles, knight of cups. Knight of pink pentacles. Three knights. Wow. I think Capricorn. Uh, you, what's going on? <laughs> you got some love offers that just popped up out of nowhere you're like oh my oh my man i'm talking to some single capricorns oh my that's what i'm hearing you're going oh my oh my oh my times three i think you got some uh some uh suitors you got some suitors capricorn that are coming towards you in the recent past i think you're trying to make a decision about who you want to give to from this mrs independent mr independent place i like this it's like i feel your playful energy you're playful right now you're playful you're celebrating i think because i feel like you're you're scared i think you have some fear that you're like i clearly want to celebrate the fact that i'm getting all this attention but i'm scared that i won't make the right decision capricorn what is this three of cups Holding on to a little bit of fear. Like, is the universe bringing me something good? Please. Pretty please. Yep, Wheel of Fortune. King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. I believe you've got someone circling, circling you. <laughs> and um, you're trying to, you're trying to, <laughs> I think that you are, you've got somebody who's like, like a very protective energy. Like almost like this this knight kind of energy, like someone that is very strong. I just got this picture of like the Knights of Templar, like someone who who uh, who could see you like as their queen, right? Like they they kind of treat you, you know, like they want to treat you like the queen that you are. Because look at you, you are the Queen of Pentacles. You want to see King of Pentacles? Yes, I'm getting goosebumps because. You got someone who's like very, very protective of you. I think the universe has brought you and somebody, Capricorn. And you were like, you're like, finally, finally. But I think that you're holding on to a bit of fear around this connection. What are you afraid it's not going to launch? Devil, Ace of Swords, Two of Cups. Oh, <laughs> Capricorn, you're so afraid that this isn't going to be what you think it is. Oh, Capricorn. Oh, I love you right now. You're like, Ace of Swords, I see clearly that this could be like the love of my life. And they could they could bring me everything I've ever wanted, right? But you're afraid. You're afraid. What if, what if I'm wrong? Honey, you know what? We can be afraid of the good stuff just as much as we're afraid of the bad stuff. I think this is you. Like wishing upon a star manif you manifested that love you've manifested you've manifested multiple opportunities but you've got one you want the king of pentacles i 
I think you're gonna fall in love soon. If not right now, you're falling in love and you are scared. You're scared to open up again. But you know what? Some love is worth it, right? That's the journey, right? It's the journey. We can all be afraid of love. And I've been seeing this for you, Capricorn. You've been afraid of love. And you might have been through a lot of trauma. But I'm telling you, you don't have to be afraid of the right love, right? This looks like a very hopeful, positive beginning. Yeah? Or a hopeful, positive future. What's this Wheel of Fortune? I'm telling you, the universe has brought you in a positive manifestation. Six of Wands, Page of Cups, Five of Cups. Yeah, I think that you're in this position now as the wheel has turned. These are the days of our lives. I don't know why I got that. Um, the hourglass, probably. You know what? You need to sit back and you need to celebrate, right? The Six of Wands is really celebrating and it's a victory, right? that you have a page of cups, you've got like this, this hopeful new beginning. And I think that you're not sure when the timing, it's like, the, it's a question of timing right now. It's a question of timing. You want to move forward. The universe is saying, cool your jets, cool your jets, Capricorn, believe in your manifestation, focus on yourself right now. You are independent. Do not get codependently attached to anyone or any idea or anything. Love will come to you. Love is coming to you. This is a positive turn here. The universe is telling you to be patient. Okay? But inside, I want you to be like, yes. Right? Yes. Right? That's the way you want to feel. Hit that easy button. Yes! I feel like you're hitting that easy button. But right now, there's some sort of weight as this wheel turns. But victory is, is yours. I'm telling you, you are afraid of the real deal, aren't you? You afraid of the real deal? That card wants to come out. Yeah, your intuition is guiding you. However hard it's been, honey. Aw. Telling you, I'm reading for some Capricorns right now who have been working on this manifestation forever, it seems like. When is my person coming? All right. It's my time. Like, it's been too long, right? I've done the work on myself. I'm in a good place in my life. I know how to take care of my needs. Where is my Prince Charming or Princess Fiona? right? Your wishes are here, all right? You are moving swiftly. You're going to make a decision. You're going to make a decision about this and you're going to use your intuition. However hard it's going to be, I think you're going to have to choose. I think you're going to have, actually, I think it's going to surprise you, Capricorn. I think you're going to have some people, some potential new um, opportunities here in love that you're going to have to make a decision. But I think who you really want is someone, if you're unsure, really go towards the person that makes you feel like, like, what's that Miley Cyrus song? Um, oh, I'm hearing it right now. Um, I feel like when, when he's standing beside her, she feels like there was an army of men behind her. I'm telling you this King of Pentacles is like a leader. Mm -hmm. They're driven. They are successful. They bring a lot of abundance to the table. They're providers. You're celebrating. You're celebrating. I think this person's going to come forward. Just let your intuition guide you. You've already been wishing for this. You don't need to pressure yourself to make this decision. Let your intuition guide you through it, okay? I think you're going to be a little overwhelmed with this decision. Maybe you're going to have multiple people appear all at once. You, you spread, you spread that, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were going to overthink this decision. I'm telling you the, the universe has brought you. I think the universe has brought you, is bringing you, will bring you multiple opportunities here in love. And, um, you're going to have to trust yourself. You're going to have to trust yourself here. I think you're like, finally, um, you're reaching this point of like, I do have it going on. Like, I think something's going to boost your confidence this week. Maybe you're going to have someone reach out and tell you how they feel, or you're going to have um, someone ask you out out of the blue. But I think you're being told to be patient. You're going to want to just rush right in. Um, just trust each step that you're taking in this new cycle. You're entering a new cycle where things are going to be balanced, right? You're going to be, it's going to feel balanced, and you're going to go forward with confidence, okay? 
Just trust yourself right now. Trust your ability to make the right decision. You're gonna, you're gonna come out on top. You're gonna come out in more ways than one, they're saying. My guides are so cheeky, I'm so sorry. They're cheeky, I can't help it, they're cheeky. Cause you know what, it's all, you know, life can be heavy. We're moving through heavy times, y'all. But you gotta have fun, right? It's all about being, I'm a very playful person. You gotta be playful and keep that youthful enthusiasm alive. Yes, you've been through trauma, drama, hurt, pain. But you know what? You live to see another day and you live to see you standing in your own confidence, being able to make decisions for yourself that you know will bring you everything that you want, all right? For me, that's enduring happiness. And that mean, doesn't mean you're gonna be you know, over the moon every day, but you feel calmly and quietly confident to go about each day as you see fit, right? because you were secure within yourself. So try to squelch any fears you have, okay? That that didn't come out upside down. That's Queen of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. So we have over the feeling of triumphantness. I think that you've got, yeah, you've got something coming. You've got something coming. I think that you've really held on to an ideal an ideal mate, an ideal experience, an ideal love affair, an ideal falling in love situation. And I think that you're gonna feel victorious very soon, Capricorn, because you believed in yourself. You believed in what you can create. It's like I'm, I'm talking to some Capricorns that have so much integrity and they're doing the right thing right now and it's gonna pay off. It's gonna pay off. It's gonna pay off. Just try and be at peace right now with the whole situation. Whatever's coming at you, just have fun with it, okay? Have fun with this. You got a, you got a hopeful, brand new chapter ha happening here. The wheel is turning. So much good stuff is coming. All right, what do we got here? Whale and Orca elders. Share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep in earth school, life's lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. So maybe you are going through a period of learning about yourself, learning about something else on your path. Maybe that's what's bringing abundance, that you're seeing a path forward in your career and it's making you feel really good. Definitely think that you're coming into the beauty of who you are, Capricorn. As you've got so much guidance around you, so much guidance around you. Share your song. Your song is unique, right? You are, there's no one else on the whole planet like you. I feel like you're starting to realize how incredible you are and how much you have to offer. And you don't need to feel less than, you don't need to feel like you're not worthy, okay? You deserve. You deserve to have everything that you want, okay? And I think you're gonna be making some really, really crucial decisions in the future around a certain person coming into your life. If they haven't already appeared, you're gonna be moving swiftly into a brand new chapter. Ooh, and you're gonna feel so nurtured because you're nurturing yourself too. Exposed and revealed. <laughs> Capricorn. All right. Someone's going to make you feel really vulnerable. I'm telling you. Look at that eye. Someone's going to look right through you. And it's going to feel like you're being seen for the very first time. Because no one has seen you the way this person sees you. God. You got, I'm feeling it. This is awesome. You've got a love affair coming. A beautiful love affair. Just take it slowly, okay? One step at a time and enjoy it. Well, my dog snores through this. I'm sorry if you hear her. She's she's having a good old grand time sleeping. As dogs do. Jenny Jens. I'm gonna have to get her to go out. because She's been disruptive this morning. She's giving me the side eye. God, expose and reveal. I just feel like someone's going to look at you and they're just going to be like, you are a goddess. You are a god. Like, you are gorgeous. And they're going to see you. They're going to see the real you, the inner you, and the outer you all at once. It's almost like when you guys lock eyes, it's just like fireworks. That which is blocked and buried within you forms the root of fear. Fear is caused by blockages in your energy. Yeah. I think you're moving through, moving past some fears 
especially around generating a happy, harmonious love and its ability to be sustainable and long-term. And I think you're seeing the truth that, you know what? I'm not gonna let fear stand in the way anymore in my love life. Good for you, Capricorn. I am, I am like giving you a fist pump. I'm giving you a high five. I'm giving you everything right now. You go forward, right? Knowing that you have everything that you need to create a brand new beginning for yourself in love. You got it. Wow. You're gonna have a good time during Libra season. It's a beautiful time of year. I actually met um, my partner during Libra season and we're both Libras and it's just so much harmony and love. It's sickening. It's sickening, right? And I tell you, I went through hell, hell for many, many years in a in very uh, uh, toxic situations in the past. So whatever you've gone through, just know that you can put that all behind you. It doesn't mean it's gone forever. It's going to come up. It's going to rear its head in whatever you go into next but at least you'll have the tools now because you've done enough growth to bring a new vibration into it, okay? All right, Capricorn, that's what I got for you. Mm. Enjoy it. See you in the next one.